So into the woods where nothing's clear, where witches, ghosts, and wolves appear. Into the woods and through the fear, you have to take the journey. The Tony Award winning musical classic by Stephen Sondheim and James Lapine is in San Francisco right now. Into the Woods is a play about what happens after the happily ever after. And here to tell us uh, more are two of the play's stars, Bonnie Kramer and Patrick Mulryan. Welcome to the broadcast. Hi, Thanks thank for having you. us, Kenny. Congratulations on landing those roles. Tell us a little bit more about this. I think a lot of people are familiar because the movie did come out uh, a few years ago, but tell us a little bit about the play. Well, this. Uh so it's a mashup of different fairy tale stories. You've got Rapunzel, Jack and the Beanstalk, Little Red Riding Hood, Cinderella, and it's all these fairy tale characters coming together in one story surrounding this baker and his wife who want to have a child. And all of the stories start to intersect in these wonderful, crazy ways in Act One. And then at the end of Act One, everyone gets their wishes granted. But then Act Two is like, what happens after we've pursued our wishes mm -hmm. and what happens after Happily Ever After? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Bonnie, tell us a little bit about uh, your, the character that you play. In this sure. Play. So I play Jack's mom. This is Jack. Okay. I play his mom. <laughs> uh, and then I also play the evil stepmother, Cinderella's stepmother. Mm -hmm. And then I also play the bassoon on the side because a, a lot of us, we double on instruments as well, which is kind of what makes the the production a little unique. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're singing, acting, we're changing parts all the time, and then we're also playing instruments. What is it about this play that, that has so many people fascinated about it? Because there was that movie that was recently made, and then you've mm -hmm. got this play uh, that played in New York City for a while, and now here in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this production in particular is very different than any production of Into the Woods that you've ever seen. How so? Um, it's just very creative. We do everything on stage. Mm. So you're not distracted by, you know, extravagant costumes and and huge scenery and changes. It's it's very it's I don't know how it's, we, it's 10 actors on a stage yeah. telling a story with a piano and then some other instruments hmm. that we all play. And we're on stage pretty much the entire time the, we're on really, the, truly. Uh, of the show. And we're seeing some of the video mm -hmm. here. You saw some of the um, actors in there also playing some instruments. So you, uh, yeah. Is it a requirement that each, each person playing in this uh, play has to also play a musical instrument? Or are there some actors who actually don't play? Everybody plays something. Mm -hmm. So there's some of us. I play French horn. Bonnie plays bassoon. We have a cello on stage, a trumpet. Mm -hmm. uh, but then a lot of uh, other people who don't play any of those play lots of different percussion. Mm -hmm. And all of us mm -hmm. probably play, including our percussion, about seven different things throughout right. the show. You have to be versatile. Yes. Musically okay, versatile. Yeah. What about some of the other characters in this play? Tell us a little bit more about them. Well, you've got the characters we all know. We have Cinderella, Rapunzel. We have a witch that kind of you know represents kind of the, the typical, you know, all, all the witches mm -hmm. that you hear of in fairy yeah, from tales. from the Rapunzel story. Yeah, yeah right. right. Um, uh, and I guess in the baker and the baker's wife aren't really specifically from stories. They kind of, once again, they're more of a, I guess, general... A device that ties yeah. together all of the other right. fairy tales. Right. And you wanted, you always wanted to be a bassoon player growing up. Tell us a little bit more about I that. I did. I know. It's so <laughs> strange. I don't know. I, the name sounded really cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just a little girl when I picked it. Um, and it was the first instrument that I picked. And I just kind of, I took to it immediately. Hmm. And what yeah. about you, Patrick? Uh, so I play French horn, and uh, it was one of those instruments I hadn't picked up in 17 years. <laughs> and, and then we were originally <laughs> creating this production. It was like, what talents do the people in this cast have? What can we use? And it was like, all right, I played French horn. Let's pick it up and learn it again. <laughs> right. And how do you interpret the, the, the story of Into the Woods? Because a lot of people are familiar, oh, most people are familiar with Cinderella, Rapunzel, mm -hmm. but then this play really kind of transforms the narrative. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I mean, act one is how we all pursue what we want, which can sometimes be a selfish pursuit. Mm -hmm. And then what happens after we get what we want, it's how do we then build a community when a crisis occurs? So in Act Two, a giant arrives, and there's a point of crisis. And how do we build community? And after we've experienced loss and disappointment, how do we move forward together? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and showing things. I think that, that they're not just always black and white, and there are moral ambiguities, and there are things that we, you know, that kind of represents life. It's never just that easy, and um, I think Act Two kind of brings that right. to light. Bonnie and Patrick, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks so much thank for having you. us. Best of luck. Yeah. For tickets, you can go to shnsf.com. When Bay Sunday comes back, it's coffee time. But meantime, enjoy a little more music from Into the Woods. Save the house, kill the wolves, find the father to come and keep it
to wait, to get, to say, to kill, to kick, to go to the 